Okay, so let's look at an actual exercise you can do with it. Um, we'll do this one a little bit more dynamically at first so you can just get a feel for it. Um, what we're gonna do is you can start from contact like this. So you've got like your palm facing up and your partner with like a center line punch position. Now, they're gonna start further back here, so back towards their body. And as he goes to punch towards my center, I'm gonna use the Hoon San movement. This, this. So once again, as he goes to punch to my center, so starting from back here, as he goes to punch to my center, I'm just gonna use the Hoon San movement. Now, this is like a timing type exercise and ultimately, you know, you want it to be quite a natural feeling where things roll off because of the environment of what's coming to you. Uh, the more advanced guys will know what I mean by this, but it's still good to practice them in a more kind of uh, technique-based setting just to grasp the concepts and the feeling. So once again, uh, your partner's gonna start with a punch closer back to their body, yeah, like, like they're doing the form, yeah? And then you maintain contact as they go to punch towards you, hoons out here, punch towards me, hoons out here, as you punch towards you, hoons out. So you can just get a feeling of the usefulness of this move. So if Carson does it now, he has his hand in like a tan sao position, so tan sao, laying on top of here. I was telling them, oh, I, know, I, know. I know you know. Okay. I was, I was okay, just okay. explaining to them, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and then from here, if you want, you can start off slow and then he uses the hoon sao. Trying to, now things to think about, as you use the movement, try your best, so as he uses the movement, I try my best to still maintain center. Sometimes what people do is they'll do this, like they're trying to hoon sao out to, you know, South Africa, but you want to just keep it in front of your center, yeah? So he keeps it in front of your center, and then you can just move it, yeah? As I come through, you can start slowly, just using the hoon sao to redirect it to the outside. See how Carson's shot is lifted up? He wants to keep that dropped and aim forward, yeah? Drop that aim forward, yeah? Better, yeah? And then you can start to make it fast, yeah? Just a simple exercise. Now, if you want to add to this and start to make it a bit more dynamic, you can start to change the actual level of where you're doing it from. Yeah. So still maintain contact, just so that they can feel that. And then if you want to make it even more difficult, you can actually get them to go into guard and practice it from contact here now. Yeah, so from guard, he tracks me. So there's levels to every exercise, but of course we're building this up as we go. So that's why we kind of stay a little slower. So once again, person starting with like a tight sale, you can even go guard hand, it doesn't really matter. As long as there's some type of contact and as they reach through, you're using that hoon sao movement to subtly redirect them off. One thing to keep in mind, don't get too carried away like with, with how far you're taking them from you. So if Carson goes through to punch, I don't need to, like I said earlier, take it all the way over here. All I need to as it comes through to punch is just stop him. Just stop him. Now I've got the actual attack line. Yeah. Cool. Um, now, in practicing on your own, I think you know the uh, your imaginary friend is probably your your best friend at the moment if you haven't got a training partner. And on that note, see if you can find a training partner. You know, see if you can find uh, someone to train with you. Invite them to come into the community. It's free. It's not like it's going to cost them anything. Anyone who's interested in martial arts, or grab your kids, or or, 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 or your mum, or your friend, or your wife, or whoever. Grab someone to train with because ultimately that's going to be better. But you know, once again, if you wanna, if you are on your own, just imagine that someone's got contact there, or imagine they're throwing the punches into you, and then you can attract them and just practice the hoon sound movements. Yeah. Any other ideas on their own? If you've got a dummy, you can use the dummy arms. So imagine, dummy. You can imagine this is the dummy arm. You can just play around with that. Yeah. Any other ideas? As I said, like mirror, mirror, the mirror for the hoon sao. Yeah, well, it's, you can look at your hoon sao. Just you can look at your hoon sao, yeah. and you can maintain your center as well. Yeah, when, you're, when you're doing that's a good point. Yeah, yeah, uh, good point. Yeah, so you can, like Carson said, with the mirror, just trying to fall in love with yourself when looking at yeah, mirror. Actually, exactly. fall in love with yourself. Why not? In a good way, though. It's your All attention. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look forward to seeing you in the next video.